dun, dun, dun. In this corner, we have a big old chunk of 60L4V titanium. In the other corner, we have the Canametal Harvey Ultra 8X. 28 inserts. Boom, we're ready to cut some chips. Oh. Before I get started, I just want to invite you, if you love this video at the end, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put your comments down below. We're bringing the heat when it comes to CAD, CAM, and CNC machining education. So today, we're going to cut some chips. So this is the Harvey Ultra 8X. The 8X stands for eight sides. So basically, every insert actually has eight cutting surfaces. And this specific tool, which is a two inch diameter with a two inch length of cut, this guy has 28 inserts, all right? So we kind of treat it like it's a four flute. But as the flutes go up, you see insert after insert after insert after insert seven stacked, boom, boom, boom. I've been hearing crazy things about this tools and I actually looked at the data and it is insane. You basically can take this entire tool, drop down and slot full depth with this thing in titanium. Big horsepower just pushing it through. They say that the only limitation on this tool is the machine, not the cutter. This thing's just gonna go and go and go. I will also say that this is a DMU 50. It's a rigid five axis machine and it's made for getting after it, but it's also made for speed. So we have 40 horsepower, but the torque is on a higher level. Besides the tool, I actually have an HSK 63 holder. So this isn't an extremely rigid holder. So when choosing the type of tool and the diameter of the tool, the length of the tool, I took all of that into account. I'm on a machine with 40 horsepower, but the torque's on the higher end, which is not really built for a tool like this. You got machine tools with low end horsepower, big power at lower RPMs, and you have other machine tools with big power at higher RPMs like this guy. But we're gonna make it work, all right? So you ready to cut some chips? Let's do this. All right, to start things out, we're actually gonna do a radial cut of 150 thousandths, and we're gonna drop all the way to the bottom two inches deep, all right? So we're two inches deep and 150 thousandths, and that's our starting point. Right now we're about 40 to 45 percent on the load meter so i think we can actually kick it up a little bit so we're actually going to take a 0.3 diameter radial cut so 300 thousandths and then we're still at full depth at two inches and that'll push us up just over 80 percent which will be good for this machine So it shows you that this thing is over 300 thousandths and it's actually just eating titanium, but it's all about the machine. It's all about the load. So when you grab these big machines with a big horsepower on the low end, you basically can just shove the cutter all the way into the material and just eat that titanium all day, all night. Oh, this thing is a beast.
after pass after pass. Oh, this thing looks good. It looks good. Oh, man. One thing that I want to say also, man, this thing is like cutting crazy, right? But let me, let me just say, like this is a two inch diameter and it's two inches long. They actually make these cutters up to three inch diameter and nine inches long. So when you actually look at the application and you look at the tool with the right horsepower and the right application, I mean, you can just go beast mode and then your only problem is what to do with all of the chips, right? Make sure that conveyor is working good. Ah, oh, this thing is awesome. Check out this cutter, check out the cutter, let's check it out. Oh, it looks so good, it looks so good. Boom. So we have a little bit of discoloration on the insert, but the inserts look absolutely perfect. Oh, and you see all these chips down here? This is awesome. That's money, baby, right there. Oh, man. All right, so that concludes our test of the Kenametal Harvey Ultra 8X. All right, so a reminder before I go, if you love what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel. If you love this video, hit the like button, put your comments down below, and I will see you on the next vlog.